Alrighty, hopefully this isn't going to be too much of a dog's breakfast, but we'll see what happens here. Hold on, let me get my forceps. Um, yeah, I've just been really into designy, crafty mo mood or mode uh, right now, and uh, taking a page out of what Meandering Mike was mentioning about the Soldiers game, saying that um, when I had mentioned way back when, uh, wow, I was really impressed that the rule book told. Uh, you know, mention what the paper was and so on and so forth. And he was like, well, lots of times uh, people back then made scenarios for things. And I really would like to do some scenarios for, uh, and I'm like, I can't, I'm not going to design a game. I'm like, well, why not just uh, go and design a scenario? And I would love to do a scenario in Africa for sure. And I was like, can I use soldiers as that? But I want to make my own map. And I'm not going to go down the road of little, um, uh, like I said, I want to make stuff as well. And I don't, didn't want to go down the road of uh, little hexes and little counters and so on and so forth. So it's going to be a bit jerky because I have to move the table around uh, quite a bit. But I wanted to show you a few things. So this is more or less homemade. Um, uh, and I wanted to try to do as many things as I could at home, low production cost, if, uh, many things is that I can find free as possible and uh, go from there and so anyways these are just these little wood things I get at the dollar store uh, these are counters I made from here I'll see if I can zoom in a bit better um, I'll try to move the table back a bit and this is where I've said you're gonna hear some weird jerky bits and whatnot because I'm gonna go to the soldiers table and uh, the board and the Suez 1916 board so if you can see here these are the counters I made a couple of years back for can games for the Spence and Gable Tannenberg game. But I also wanted to show you the size differences. So that's a tan, um, that's a Dervelt Krieg Russian counter, there's a Dervelt Krieg German counter, and there's an SPI uh, soldiers counter. Way, way bigger. That's for sure. Uh, my my board uh, using four eight and a half by eleven uh, sheets is um, 21 and one quarter inches by 15 inches and I'm use, it's, I got 20 hexes by 16 hexes. So let's go off to the soldier's board as much as I can because I can't get all the way there because of the chair. It's right behind me and you can't see it, but it's there. So I'm gonna zoom out again. And then we'll see what I can do. So I'm gonna have to Aim it back. I just wasn't thinking here, so hold on here. This thing does not like doing stuff. So, if I use 20 counters by uh, 20 hexes by 16 hexes, I. Oh, come on, you little brat. There. Okay. So, here we go. Yeah, I should have done, but you're hopefully going to get the idea. So, I'll try to. Anyway, just a little bit. So this here, if this is 20 hexes by 16 hexes, and the, the soldier's board is 24 and one quarter inches by 20 inches, and it's 39 hexes by 37 hexes, and each hex for them is uh, 100 meters. So if I wanted to stay at the same scale, uh, that's about that's all I could do for soldiers. It's not too bad. But it's like, okay, at least I'm starting to clue in about the size of hex, size of the board, and what kind of scale um, of a game I could do, essentially. So let's go back to this horrible jerkiness. Hopefully it'll, it'll be the end of the, because I'm just going to try to keep it straight down. And then we're going to go back, we're going to go to the Suez board. Hold on. It's going to get, like I said, noisy and jerky. I'm sliding the table across my wood floor there so all right so this guy and you can see I get of course it's a different scale um, I get way way more of the board here um, so it, it, that's what it's trying to show me so the Suez 1916 board is 21 and one half inches by 15 and a quarter inches and uh, it's 30 roughly 30 hexes by 21 hexes because it's a little wacky over here like you can see it's it's not perfectly flush um, and each hex is about uh, one kilometer. So this is what I could get. It's quite a bit of the board at that scale, which I thought was kind of neat. So at least it allows me to start seeing what I can get away with. I'm going to go back to my whatever. Here. 
So I, I'm feeling good about this. And also, like, uh, like I said yet again, I wanted to go off into uh, free land. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. I'm trying to get rid of the, uh, the bottom thing here. So this is from the S SPI Icon Library. This is just a, uh, a fraction of the, uh, the, uh, the icons you can uh, download. And, you know, you can see here, and I'm sure there's something... Oh, look, that looks like a machine gun thing. Uh, I'm just saying there's probably a lot of things I could use here for sure. I mean, come on. For, um, you know, uh, that scale or whatever. As well as, uh, to make the terrain uh, things, uh, go to HTML, uh, HexTML. I'll put it in the uh, thing. And this is also a free site. Uh, if you pay money or something, you can save the, the information to your computer and whatnot. But yet again, I'm just going to go down the free road. And you can design, this is the beautiful thing about HexTML. Uh, I can design my own, uh, I can load up my own icons and whatnot, that, uh, pictograms that fit inside the hexes and so on and so forth. I can change the colors. There's a zillion things I can do with it. And I was like, okay, this is a good way to go. And uh, of course, now the hard part is not this. This is easy, making all these things. The hard part is actually going to go and do some research on a flipping battle. That's going to be the thing. But I'll just, uh, like yet again, if when I was looking at the soldiers, board there and how small it is. I was like, maybe you can just do a, uh, a section of it, just like I was going to do anyways with the, um, for example, if I wanted to do like uh, the Lus, uh, part of the Lus game uh, from Decision Games, but incorporated onto the soldiers map, you know, I'd have to just do a, a piece. Like maybe they're going to go towards the, the Hudson Holer and uh, re uh, readout or something like that. And that's all you're going to focus on kind of thing. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to, uh, show you what I've been up to uh, this morning and um, and then I'm going to go off and do what, uh, some other stuff. But hope you're having fun. See you later.